Okay, did you enjoy that? <laughs> Thought you might do. Um, right, SW150 filter holder and filter system, part two. If you can remember back in the dim and distant past when I did part one, I did say that part two might be two weeks, two months away. Yeah, something like that. Try over a year, my God, apologies. See all the warmth of my sincerity. Yeah, um, so here we go, uh, one year on. Yeah, and I haven't got any complaints whatsoever about the filters themselves, um, apart from the fact that they are fragile. Um, can you remember back in the first video I did say that if you don't keep them in the tins, um, it'll be tears before bedtime because you'll break one. Um, yeah, look at this, yeah. Oh dear, a Lee 10 stop big stopper filter 140 pounds worth Snap, snapped in four four places and uh, believe it to believe it not i did this in the office <gasps> not even outside i wasn't even taking an epic shot <laughs> um so there you go um i've actually taken to uh keeping them in uh, this which is the uh, rather posh um lee filter bag and uh, yeah so there you go um the other thing about keeping them in the tins is uh, this thing whoops daisy um this um this is a funny little foam insert and uh, when you put your filter back in the tin it's this insert that sits around the outside of the filter um that basically stops the filter from shaking side to side or backwards and forwards in the tin and uh, banging about um now yeah if if the weather's nice and calm it's a windless still day um yeah i don't suppose it's too bad um but this thing if the any if there's any wind about <laughs> this just ends up half a mile down the beach yeah so it's a it's a pain in the butt and uh, plus the fact i've noticed a couple of the tins are showing signs of rust so uh, yeah so i invested in this and uh, yeah it's quite good um however i do keep the tins because if i'm going to uh, cram these filters into my camera bag um because i'm going away like i did do uh, the other week when i went up to iceland um i do put them back in the tins carefully um, so there you go um so we'll just put that back in there and uh, close it up and put it out of the way and if you're wondering why i'm wearing white cotton gloves um yeah mm. these filters i uh, really i've never experienced filters that attract greasy pore marks quite so much as these and uh, i suppose it's just basically because they're so damn big and, um, and you also they get a lot of dust on them and things like that they, 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 it, it, it's just very easy to get marks on them and uh, so what i've had actually um, started doing is um, i buy these cheap cotton gloves off ebay uh, by the bag full and uh, i've actually taken to cramming these into my camera bag and uh, when i go out landscaping and uh, so i've always got a pair of white cotton gloves on yeah woohoo so there we go um let's get them out of the way before they screw the camera exposure up too much um yeah um right now the only problem i have had is with the holder itself 
and it's a problem that um, arose when I was coming back from Iceland. Let's just uh, put that out the way up there. And um, yeah, I was, um, I mean, I've been using these filters for a week and uh, not a problem. And uh, but I was coming back through Keflavik um, Airport security and uh, these big burly Icelandic types thought, aye aye, this guy looks a bit sus. We'll, uh, we'll just take his camera back off the conveyor and uh, we'll give it a good going over. Mind you, our Richard had got through Scott free, but um, <laughs> so anyway, um, this was on top of the uh, items in my bag and uh, it actually ended up um, coming off the countertop and hitting the floor bump like that and the problem was that all these little bits came off and the two screws came out and uh, I thought oh and they thought oh so they carefully found all the bits and put everything um, back in me back and let me go and uh, it wasn't until I got home and uh, I decided to have a look at what had happened um, that I found this. And you'll notice I've got one, two, three um, shiny screws in there. And this one, and this rather ropey looking thing, it's because I've been in and out half a dozen times, is the original screw um, which came from the factory. And uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that. Um, but it's it's already um, disconnected from the threads in here and um, what had happened was it had actually popped the threads um, on the bolts but the bolts are only 12 millimeters long so basically if I hold that there whoops a daisy if I try and hold that there for you and it's not going to work very well but you can see you can get a rough idea it barely catches in this anodized aluminium go faster block um, so what I did was uh, whoops well there you go that's pinged off on the floor was I went on eBay and I got some of these which are basically 16 millimeter M2 machine bolts countersunk and uh, yeah and that's at the uh, top of the threads now and look how much it's sticking out this bolt is actually four millimeters longer than uh, the one that uh, was on that was fitted uh, by Lee at the factory so it takes forever to screw in and uh, basically the hole that uh, that bolt has just gone in basically comes nearly all the way down to the back here it's nearly 16 millimeters deep and it's threaded all the way so my top tip for anybody who's got a lee sw150 holder um, is basically take the screws out and check to see if you've got the long ones or the short ones because a friend of mine said to me, he said, I'd just check mine. He said, and I've got long ones in. So there you go. So whether mine was just an errant one, or the early ones came out with the short threads. And um, here's another 16 mil. That's uh, a cheese added one. But uh, you can see just how much longer 16 mil is than 12 mil. And I don't understand why they were selling these holders or letting these holders go when basically the um, these short 12 mil screws or machine screws um, were only catching by like no more than two turns of thread in the uh, alley blocks so this lot wasn't very secure at all and if you've got two 140 pound filters in there yeah and uh, yeah it, it, it would be really bad wouldn't it so, uh, naughty boys, Lee, naughty boys. But anyway, Uncle Andy sorted it, and it would appear that Lee have sorted it as well. Um, but the other thing is, if you own one of um, 
the 100 system holders, older systems, and you have the extended bolts for these, uh, which I've seen on wax. These don't fit because these in the 100 system aren't M2. I don't know whether they're M2.5 or M3, um, but they are too fat. They do not fit in these holes. So the bigger filter holder system has smaller screws. How weird is that? Um, doesn't sound a very good idea to me, but well, there you go. That's what we're stuck with. So uh, there you go. Just to repeat myself again, um, check your screws on the on your SW150, and if they are short ones, count yourself very lucky. Go on eBay. M2 16 millimeter countersunk in preference, uh, because then they don't stick out so much. Uh, but countersunk M2 16 millimeter machine screws. That is what you're after. And uh, so there we go. That is the only problem I've had with the filters, filter holder. Um, as I say, the filters themselves, nothing wrong with them at all. They work like a dream. I love them to bits. Um, yeah, they are fingerprint magnets. Yeah, so yeah, I don't suffer quite as much now. Um, now I wear these every time I go anywhere near my filters. <laughs> but um, now the other thing is um, when I use my um, 1424 for daytime landscapes, I invariably shoot it between 18 and 24 mil. Um, and it does have a even at 18 to 24 mil it does have a slightly weird distortion pattern you definitely notice it if you've got anything vertical um in your landscape uh, a bit like photographing a lighthouse and um, it sort of puts a funny little s-shaped distortion um on your vertical subject um if you have them off center and uh, so yeah it's relatively easy to correct in um, photoshop lightroom can't fully correct for it um but um you know it, it's relatively easy but i do the majority of my daytime landscape shooting on this zeiss 21 mil i don't know why people slate this lens quite so much unless I've just got an exceptionally good example. Um, I absolutely love this lens. And uh, on my D800E, its performance, even that right into the corners for uh, sharpness, is absolutely epic. Um, but of course, um, yeah, it's a 100 system filter holder that fits on that via, in this case, an 82mm adapter ring and uh, yeah we have um lee big stopper and little stopper filters to go on it but uh, i just can't bring myself to uh, um buy a polarizer and of course now i actually don't need to because i can actually take that off um, there i can unscrew that and i can now get one of these which is the sw150 in this case 82 millimeter um adapter ring and uh, they are a bit awkward to uh, get centered on the uh, screw threads but um, let's hope we uh, yeah there we go just about got that whoops so there's your squeaky squeaky squealy squealy and uh, now i can pop my sw150 holder on there like that and then I can go and get a filter which one will we get yes oh we've got the uh, little stopper here yes the little stopper and uh, basically always put these uh, felt side yeah foam side back into uh, towards the lens and always put them in the first slot and uh, there we go how cool is that and, uh, yeah so now i've got a zeiss 21 mil 
using a Lee SW150 filter. Yeah, um, so it's now versatile. Uh, and uh, you know, what more can I say? Apart from the fact that, uh, wow, these are quite pricey. But, um, you know, in the grand scheme of things, you only buy your gear once, hopefully. Um, so it's always worth, in, worth the investment if you're going to get your money's worth out of it. So there we go. Uh, what more can I say? Um, other than the only problem, the screws on this SW150 filter holder. Um, don't forget, go and check them. Um, so that just about wraps up part two of uh, my Lee SW150 review. Um, I don't think you really need to see any more pretty pictures, do you? Um, so there you go. Hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Um, if you do, um, just give us a nice comment below. If you don't, don't say anything. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, just have a good day. Have a good day. And uh, I will see you soon. Cheerio.